Welcome to Raw Holla. Luna was very confident in the winner's side, winner's finals match, and I mean, I think he might take this, but Impala is here to try and prove me wrong, and I'm really excited to see what happens. Yeah, and we just had Luna and Apollo in the winner's side of this bracket going against each other. But now it's going to come down to can Impala counter the guitars of Luna on center control? And maybe he has to pull something out of Radish's book and keep Luna to the sides of the map and really try to go in for these punishes. I mean, so far, respect has to be given to Luna's blasters as well, because they've been able to find pretty big openings, but these guitars that we see right now have been the, really the main character of Luna's, you know, the main weapon, what he's been using to really push advantage on a lot of people, and so far, it's looking pretty even. Luna swapping the blasters, trying to find that KO, but Impala using the spear to just keep his distance to play safe, but no, one, somebody <laughs> has to find that first KO and quick, you know, it's a lot yeah, of stress. Yeah, sure. Well, and here's the thing too, it's kind of funny because we've seen Luna use a lot of signatures in the past when it comes down to really trying to counter Impala, but right now, I mean, Ooh. that light recovery comes in! That has been the main knockout option by Luna I and mean, anyone with blasters almost this entire night. And Impala runs into that combo and now has to be careful because Luna can weapon starve them. They need to make sure they pick up that weapon as fast as they can, just like they did, and get this knockout option. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the Ooh. big... Oh, this is, this is not good. Oh, what? No, Luna. Wow. <laughs> Pulling a knees, looking like knees at San Diego. And I mean, you know, it happens. Because Katars is one of those weapons where you can really lose your jumps very fast. And all of a sudden, that's it, right? You mess up your game, it's over. He still has a bit of a damage lead. But Impala is looking like, you know, th that could be a mental changer. You know, your mindset going through the game could be a bit different after SDing a full stock. But so far, Luna not really faltering, keeping his composure and really building up that big damage lead. Yeah, for sure. And when it comes down to, we're going two minutes in and Paula's is getting really lit up right now. He's able to pick up Bo, but Luna knocking out Impala as soon as he's able to pick up a weapon. And I think that weapon starving from Luna might get them to win this tournament because that's one flaw that we're just seeing a lot by Impala, but his unarmed comes in and launches Luna in the orange of that second sock there, Clamp. Yeah, I mean, Impala's unarmed is very impressive, but for some reason, like, the weapon serving still ends up resulting in losses, but his unarmed finds those hits. I mean, so far, he hasn't let Luna build too much of the lead. He's been finding those stray hits, delay recovery connecting, and I mean, soon to find the KO, but he misses another one of those spear sticks and deals with a oh. huge punish for it. This is looking scary. He didn't touch. Oh, Ground no. pound, but he touched now. Safe just for a bit, but... Luna finding the there, trying to confirm the edge guard as quick as possible, committing with a dash from pivot dare. And I mean, Luna just pushed a huge advantage. Dealer recovery, is that going to take it out? Not quite just yet, but he's poised to take this game number one, AJ. He is, and with that being said, and we're seeing Impala trying to do something, gets that side option on the Luna with the weapon throw knockout, possibly here. Dowling recovery will go and confirm that. And Luna goes down to that final stock. But if you're Impala, You've got to get that Bogue damage build up right now and make sure that Luna doesn't pick up those guitars. And now he's got those guitars. It's going to be hard. Decent. Luna wow. coming in with that fantastic down signature with those guitars. And now Luna took game number one. Yeah, I mean, that down sig has a humongous hitbox. And so you can get caught by that top hand and it'll just take your stock regardless. It doesn't really care about your feelings. So, you know. Luna taking advantage of Lucian's <laughs> kit and managing to secure a good KO. Really just a solid, clean, one stock game one. Looking good for a winner's side victory. Hopefully you can keep that momentum up, but we're back to APOC. And I mean, in the last, we've, we've seen Impala kind of struggle against Lucian on APOC, but hopefully he can really make the difference on this game. Yeah, for sure. And right now, if you're both of these players, I mean, Luna is feeling extremely comfortable. I mean, he was willing to knock himself out for a combo knockout option. And Impala's like, hey, we're not doing that anymore. But another thing is, too, Impala has been playing a whole lot of spear against Luna. And now it's just wrecking the heck out of Luna right now. Yeah, it just it clicked. Because, I mean, last game, a lot of the reasons why he was taking a lot of damage was because he just whiffed a whole spear stick right in front of Luna. But Luna looking to try and bring it back with these nares and these quick blasters damage combos. But swapping to the Katars, trying to find that huge option, but not able to find it. And Impala looking confident. Can he find the read off the sidelight? Not quite, but finds the D-Light Sarah, and that is going to take the, f 
Luna's first stock, and he's looking very poised to just keep it going. Well, it's kind of funny too, because now Impala's on the bow, and it's like, hey, I want to stick with that bow as much as I possibly can, but I mean, I don't know why, because now he's been doing so well with the spear. Why swap to weapon that Luna's been able to read you on a lot when it comes down to move, but Dalit recovery coming in, yeah. and Paul's now down to that second stock, and maybe he wanted to pick up bow, so he got spear on that second stock. That might have also been an option too. Yeah, that could be. He probably didn't want to be disarmed by a heavy hit, but then again, hopefully he can find that rooting on his spear, because he had a lot of momentum on his spear, but he had to swap to bow. He kind of let that go. Finds a ground pound. Luna having no options. Go for the D6. Finds a dare after. Can he find the gift? Oh. Sarah connects. Going for a nair. That hits through the weapon throw somehow. And I mean, not able to hear a gimp, but a lot of damage being found onto Impala on this second stock. Yeah, and I don't think Apollo was really expecting that exchange off the ledge and now stuck with that bow. Gets that side air option on Luna. Recovery coming in from Luna into a grand kit of neutral signature. Very, very nice job. Ooh, now, like, wow. oh, recovering the weapon throw. Luna. Oh, and Apollo got mind gimped by Luna. And Luna is up a half a stock over Impala. And this is definitely not where you want to be if you're Impala. Yeah, no, it looks really, really good for him, uh, like Luna. But, I mean, you know, it's, he has the spear. His spear was working on that on that uh, first stock. So hopefully he can find the runing again. And he's building up damage very, very well. So, that being said, Luna goes off stage. Does he mess up? Finds the Sair. Can he find the confirmed game? Finds another Sair into a weapon throw. And another Sair. Wow. Just... Dude, he did not care what happened. He was going to get that knockout, whether anyone liked it or not. In those guitars, man. Dallin recovered by Luna on Impala's first stock. We go in the second stock into an unarmed recovery weapon throw in the jump. The, was it just a mind game? Right? And now we're going to that final stock. Sire into Luna just staying alive and Apollo wasn't able to come back to that platform. Yeah, no, Luna was just slapping him with Sair just over and over again. Oh, and he finds the same dodge. He has found that dodge several times against Impala. I don't know if it's a specific thing, but he does the D-Light there into the end light and it's just been getting a lot of damage. Impala already into the orange on his lap. Like this is, he needs to win this to stay in the tournament because otherwise it's going to be a clean 3-0 from Luna. Yeah, I think Luna is changing their dodge options a lot more. And I think realizing that dodge option they're taking against Impala's bow is not working out very well because things are being relatively even here between both these players. And that might be a thing too. Maybe Impala's dodging a certain way against Luna and Luna's just realized that and said, hey, I'm going to punish it. Yeah, I mean, she's just not really been letting Impala in. He's been really holding him out with these blasters. These blasters have been finding a lot of success and then it only gets worse when Luna swaps to the guitars because Against his guitars, he's not safe on stage or off stage. But that being said, Impala finds a D sig on ledge, not able to find the confirm with a GC side light. But so far, looking strong, doing dead even. D light into GC N sig on an arm, not KOing, and the end weapon throw N sig confirming the KO on Impala's first stock. An option using the really big circle hitboxes on that N sig to just cover that dodge. It's really good. Yeah, for sure. And right now, I mean. Luna definitely feel uncomfortable. If he wins with this game, he wins the entirety of this tournament. But if Impala wins, they go into game number four. So he's definitely feeling very comfortable. He's realizing Impala doesn't have a weapon. Impala's having to use a lot more of their unarmed, but that's the main thing that Luna's been really, really reading is Impala not having a weapon uh, and really starving Impala of those weapons as well. And Right now, Luna gets knocked out by not having enough jumps available to them and, and Paula getting that first stock knockout. Yeah, and I mean, this kind of looks like the same sort of like stocks and damage that we've been seeing throughout this whole set. So, and Paula really needs to just mix it up. Hopefully he can really bring it back or just find that damage. He's slowly building up that damage in that orange himself with Luna in that dark yellow. I mean, it's close. He just needs that opportunity. He goes for it and he misses and he gets punished. Oh, the blaster no. is there into weapon throw. And now Luna with a stock lead onto Impala. Impala's on his tournament stock right here. He needs to do something to try and bring this back. 
He does. And if Luna keeps on weapon starving him, Luna will take this game. And right now, Impala's being too aggressive with unarmed. He's not focused on picking up that weapon. And Luna is punishing it right now because now we have Impala in the yellow of that first time. Oh, that, that, that might be it. That might be it. Oh, Luna no. Taking this oh, set. Three and oh, and Luna is your Moose Wars Coral Clash 1v1 champion with a fantastic combo knockout. And let's pop up those replays, Clem, because those replays were just insane. Yeah, no, I mean, Luna right there just sees that Impala doesn't have options on Katars and just starts beating him up, right? Yeah. Just, advantage, just taking advantage of just Impala being defenseless. Oh and it's just, you know, it happens against Katars. He gets hit with the Sair, it takes his recovery, and it's just really Spider. really really scary spot to be in against guitars most of the time you're getting confirmed and that nair to jump there into there just to just you know drive it home that he was winning that turn